Do you know now you can make payment on 1688 using your Visa card or MasterCard? It sounds good, right? My Nigerian friend will say, oh, more. <laughs> right. This is something they just introduced. Okay. So in this video, I am going to walk you through step by step on how to make payment on 1688 using your Visa card or MasterCard. Okay. If this is the first time you're coming across my video, kindly do well to subscribe so that whenever I post content like this, you will get notified. Without much ado, let me share my screen and I'll walk you through. See you on the other side. So when it comes to the payment method on 1688, we have two types. You can either use your Alipay or your Visa card, okay? Yes, so I've made a video on how to make payment using Alipay, okay? This very video or section is centered on how to make payment using Visa card or MasterCard. Okay, so for now, let's find something. All right, now I am in my cart. Let me select a particular product and proceed to make payment using my visa card okay so let me select so after i'll proceed see this alipay logo you click on it okay and uh, beneath let me translate. It says other ways. Okay, it contains all currently available payment methods. So let me click on it. And proceed. right so again let me translate for you to see so the top one is alipay okay the normal alipay that's the middle and add new credit card he says he go ahead to say supports various credit cards such as visa and mastercard you understand and uh, we have the second one that is a uh, uh, one lihu you understand so we are interested in the middle one okay that says add new credit card so let's go ahead always you make sure it's in dollars okay us usd and then click on it so after clicking on it this is how it display okay so let me translate it to english for you to see so here it is asking for your card number the expiring dates okay the cvv does the three digits at the back of your card and the card holder name okay the name on the card you understand so i am going to go ahead and input my details for the sake of security i am going to cover it okay Have to be fast i'll go ahead and enter the expiring date and uh, enter the cvv that's the three digit code and uh, the card holder name that's the name okay of the card the name you use to register the card
here you can uh, choose to save card for future payments you understand or you uncheck it so after you proceed you click on confirm and continue good let me translate good so we have alipay again we have successfully added our visa card you understand so we are just going to select it and then click on uh, go to pay okay so we click here and then click here good <laughs> that was fast <laughs> right so we've successfully made payment using visa card on 1688 you understand so let me go back and check if it has moved from pending for payment wow so it has moved here indicating we have successfully made payment that was fast you see it is uh, telling me to buy again you understand very easy right don't go yet i want to draw your attention to something here okay so the product amounting to 16 yuan okay and after clicking on the visa card they automatically converted it to 2.41 okay 2.41 dollars right so let me translate You see here the total amount of goods was 2.34 and uh, by using the visa card they do charge handling fee okay and that was 0 0.07 okay and together it uh, gave us 2.41 dollars you understand again this is to tell you that when you are using a visa card or mastercard to make payment they do charge a handling fee okay yes so the minimum handling fee rate is a uh, three percent so in our case they took 0 0.07 so in a nutshell we paid two point for one do you understand so kindly take notes i think uh it is very easy to use okay yes see you on the next video bye for now